the crystal shard, forged from the magic of seven liches, but with a treacherous will of its own. For thousands of years, the shard lay forgotten beneath the snows of Icewind Dale. There it waited, until some fool, a would-be wizard lusting for power beyond his due, answered the shard's call. A car Kessel claimed the shard, and used its power to summon armies of evil creatures to his banner. From his crystal tower, he set them loose upon the Dale and the people of Ten Towns. But we would not stand by and watch this tyrant destroy our homes. We companions rallied the united peoples of Ten Towns and held our ground at the walls of Bryn Shander. We chased Kessel to the slopes of Kelvin's Cave. When the Shard realized that we had won, it abandoned him. It disappeared once again under the snows, along with Kessel himself. With Kessel gone, we thought the war was over. We were wrong. Though the Crystal Shard was lost, still it called to those who craved power. Its call was strong, and from across the realms they came. But we answered a call of our own. A call to stand together against this Dark Alliance and defend our home against the threat of Kred Shinnabar. Brunor Battlehammer! Welcome, King! Kartik Stone Roller at your service? Your best friend, Regis. But no matter, that's why I'm here. He asked me to help out, keeping you... Your Highness? Till next time, Your Highness? Regis said he'd let me come with him on his next adventure. For real? Of goods over here. Great season. Goblins, here we go. Bowen's shield! Yeah. <laughs> 
shard still out there, hmm? Shouldn't you be out there too? You know, stopping it? The United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his crystal tower. But the dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun, their people fleeing the valley. We rush to their aid, fighting our way through the goblins in Verbeeg to find the goblin commander and put an end to this siege. Mithral Hall was my father's and my grandfather's. But this valley is mine, and I'll be dead before I see my people turned to a clan of refugees again. I mean, 
Hot! Like, lots of action. You don't want a lot of racket while you're taking an afternoon nap. Oh, you're a real thinker, Kefla. <laughs> These goblins and Verbeeg need to be dealt with, and this siege ended before I can ever hope to reclaim my home. Yeah! 
denied, are you, dwarf? has a thirst. Yeah. Huh? 
It's doing! It's time to scrap! You're making my mind water, Dark! <laughs> 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 Goblin fools! Hey! <laughs> 
go! Your rule, Kessel's demise, is not forgotten!
won't end until those goblin siege weapons are destroyed. has a thirst! has a thirst!
for the clan. Come on over here. Not my eyes. I
By the axes of Klangadon! The last of the siege engines. Now for the goblin captain.
but we got the valley. For the clan, your hide is mine for big. Your shell is put me a target. <laughs> Take your bed! <laughs> 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 Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming, and thank you for watching my one hour gameplay video for the game Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Here is my quick rundown of the game. Based on the books, this game's story is there, but only sometimes. It's nothing noteworthy. I might be in the minority here, but I enjoyed the gameplay. It could be definitely better. However, I didn't think it was particularly too easy or bad. While playing this game, I never got the co-op working because I couldn't find anyone online. I think with one friend, the game wouldn't be too easy. I saw another person who played with three or four people, and the bosses and levels were super easy. The balance doesn't seem to be good at all in this game. So, because of that, I would recommend this to someone who is itching for this style of RPG and wants to play it solo or with one friend. With a bunch of friends, it doesn't look fun at all. The bosses can be killed in a matter of seconds. I hate being influenced, but I saw someone just run through to the end of a level. Most of the time, none of the loot was that good. I think this game just needed more time or work. It isn't the worst game I have ever played. I'm glad the publisher recognized their game is not worth $60 at launch. However, in Korea, it's actually over $60. I wouldn't recommend it at all for that price. I have seen the game for as low as $20 or $30. So I think that is not a bad launch price. I would recommend it for $30 or less. It's not a great or perfect game, but it's far from being the worst game I've ever played. $40 seems a little high for this current state of this game, so I would recommend it for less than $30 and if you're going to play with only one friend. If you're going to play it with three or four people, I wouldn't recommend this game. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on all notifications so you know when I live stream or when the next review is coming. See you guys in the next review.